So, Valeriev, what breaks you got? She was crazy. Why are you mumbling? Confidence. Galenina, you'll be expelled regardless of your father being a professor. Listen, can you give me the surgery record? Catch up, people. Why are you all moving so slow? Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, are you all right? I'm fine. It was all my fault. We don't want to get there. Hold on. Look at those eyes. Are you an angel on earth? <laughs> angel, will you please marry me? <laughs> well, well, that's totally unexpected. But you will, right? Please say yes. <laughs> I'll um, think about it. This I woman will be my it. wife one day. <laughs> no, that woman will not be your future wife. <laughs> Dad! Dad! No, come on now. No, Dad! Remember, you promised me. I'm Denise! Viera! No, that was Viera. Of course. Viera. A Ghost for Two, Part One. What's up, Mom? Hi, sweetie. Are you okay? I'm doing great. Dennis and I are celebrating our fifth anniversary today. I'm going to surprise him. Honey, you shouldn't put that much faith in a man. He could end up being a jerk and really hurting you. Mom, please. You're talking about Dennis, you Honey, know. I'm talking about men in general. My advice to you? Love yourself. For example, get yourself a lover. Mom. What's the matter? Besides, your husband doesn't have to know. Lies make a marriage. All right, all right. Thanks for the advice. Love you. Bye. Angel, come here, let me give you a kiss. Oh, princesses shouldn't be punching things. <laughs> Stop that. I thought maybe you had forgotten or something. Well, sorry, I just had a rough day. But I didn't forget. Hmm? Tell me, did you really love your first wife? Where'd that come from? I don't remember. Do you love me more? more than anyone on earth. You're still such a jerk. But isn't it that why you love me? Let's go to bed. What about the party? I gotta wait. I got you something special, too. It's a surprise. What is it? Yes. 
What if I take up dancing? Imagine me in a flowing dress dancing tango passionately and you're gawking at me from your seat? What do you say? Yeah, we'd like to act on her order. Are you listening to me? Sorry, did you say something? Dennis, what's going on? Nothing. Everything is fine. You say that a lot, but something's wrong. Vera, that's the one phrase that men despise. Everything's really fine. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend all the men you represent, but the thing is, I... Vera, what is your problem? Let me explain. You see, I can go to the gallery, I can look at famous paintings, then come home and excitedly tell you about my experience. But that's not the same thing as looking at the painting together. Because I need to go to work and earn money while you waste time at those galleries. Do you realize that what you just said to me was very hurtful? I do. Forgive me, please. I didn't mean it. I work a lot, Vieta. That is why I get the big bucks. I'm even working now. The message that came in is about work. I need to go. I'm sorry. Wait, how about... the food is already on its way. I'll be right back. Hey, stranger. You need a ride somewhere? You idiot. <laughs> Let's go. Viera. Hello? What? Are we there yet? No, not yet. We're still on the way. What's going on with you? Sergei, how long have you known me? Well, since preschool for sure. Right, spit it out. What happened? I feel like my husband has changed completely. Hmm, sometimes husbands can make you feel a certain way. <laughs> Maybe I never imagined what would happen to me. Well, you see, I never would have expected my husband is capable of cheating on me. Did you find some kind of solid evidence to back that up? For example, someone's panties in his bag. You might not know this, but Denise had a wife back then. He was married before we started dating. Okay, and he didn't tell you about her? Well, no, he did tell me, and he said he was married, and he was in the middle of a divorce. Well, so what's the problem then? What if he's saying the exact same thing to the other woman? My dear, I really do love you. I'm married, but I'll sort that out soon enough. I'd feel a lot better if I could meet up with his ex-wife. I need her address. You've lost it. You're crazy. Hmm? <laughs> Hey, lady, wait! <laughs> you Angel, can't catch please me. wait! <laughs> Come on, hurry I will up! I'll catch you! <laughs> Angel! <laughs> I love you, Anna! You hear me? I love you! <laughs> I'm gonna get you! Careful, careful! Oh! Oh, come here, you. <laughs> oh, 
Hello, sorry to bother you. You don't know me, but... Uh... We gonna stand in silence? I'm sorry, maybe I'm mistaken. I'm looking for... You're in the right place. So what do you want? You... Probably don't know me. I'm your husband, Denise's wife. I mean, ex-husband. Yes, I know who you are. What are you doing here? Could you maybe invite me in first? I want you to tell me why you're here. Then I'll decide whether to let you in or not. My husband's cheating. <sighs> Miss Anya, is everything all right over there? Absolutely. Maybe you want to dust as well. How about you wipe the floor? The mop's in the closet. He... he's cheating. I'm certain of it. I can feel it. When we first met, I really had no idea he was married. Most of the time it was great, we would be having fun, watching stupid movies, eating ice cream, or lying around in the beach. Then suddenly it shut down. It's like he disappeared. Like he didn't care about anything. I can see the same thing happening, but as if from the other side. It's as if I'm now in your shoes. Get out now. But please, I beg you, I need your help. I said get out. Do you want to know why I'm like this? Please. According to doctors, it's almost I don't complete know. Tell atrophy me. below the waist. Do you want to know why I'm in this state? No, now you listen to me closely. After my husband filed for a divorce. I started taking some serious calming medications. I was completely out of it. Some poor guy in a food truck unfortunately couldn't break in time and hit me. He got two years, thank God he got parole. That's how it was, my dear. You think you had no part in that? But I... But I... Do you know who was the first person I saw when I woke up in the hospital? It was Dennis. Yup. It was your husband. And your soon-to-be ex-husband, it seems. How dare you say something like that? I'm in my home. I can say what I want. Dennis didn't leave my side for several days. Remember what he told you that time? Likely something about some urgent business trip? Well, that business trip was to my hospital ward. I swear, I did not know any of this. Now you do. Oh, and by the way, Dennis visits often. What for? Because I work for him. <sighs> you what? Remote work. His business is now booming thanks to me. The divorce basically changed nothing. He still needs my advice just like before. I can't tap dance now, sure, but go through the paperwork, review analytics, or prepare a report. I can do all of those tasks easily. I'm an excellent financial consultant. So you see Dennis often? Yes. All the time. Then maybe you know the answer to this. Is he cheating on me? <laughs> oh! Dennis is calling. Yes. Want to drop by? Yes, of course. All right. See you. You're leaving? Don't you want to see your husband? Or are you in a rush? Why are you like this? I didn't know anything. I didn't know any of this. Get out now! I'm doing just fine, Natasha. Mm -hmm.
Denise, are you coming home soon? Um, I'll be there at nine. I'm just meeting my partners. Oh, of course. All right. Denise, I want an honest answer. This is important for us both. Are you seeing anyone? I'm in love, I'm sorry. Get out then. Please, go. Jetta. Look, I can't live like this. You got that? You're so kind. And you're probably the best. Probably. Arisha. Arisha. Yes, it's me. I'm coming over. Yes, I'm done there. Done. I told you, she's a good kid. You're not supposed to leave kind people. You don't leave them if they're the best. You just don't leave loved ones so easily, goddamn you! Three months later. Viera, you left your door open. Seriously now? Still wallowing, are you? Can you please stop asking the same questions over and over? You're sounding like my dad. It's annoying as hell, you know. All right, all right. I'll stop then with the stupid questions. Listen to me. You look like a scarecrow. You're acting just like one, too. You'll soon be covered in crows. You're being annoying. I'm not trying to annoy you. I just want you to snap out of it. Here, read it. Enjoy. Denise signed everything you asked. 
monthly payments, half his account, the apartment. But he has several questions which only the two of you can actually resolve. I find that hard to believe. <sighs> yes. The ball is in your court now. Then I'll guess I'll think of how to deal with his stupidity. Hmm. <sighs> you know, a little more of that and I won't feel sorry for you. Awesome. Maybe then all of you will finally leave me the hell alone. Actually, I don't think I want to wait that long. Miss Vera? Hello. Why are you here? Well, it's difficult for me to look at you, let alone speak to you right now. I hate you so much that I'm afraid I might kill you with my stare if I stare long enough. Sorry, I'm talking now. So you sit there quietly and listen while you debate whether or not I've lost my mind. Obviously you have. Stop. I signed the documents. You are not worth it, but you were forthcoming to all of my demands, so I signed it. Now I'm free to hate you with an absolutely clear conscience. Vera, people can fall out of love, you know? And... <laughs> I suppose people here refer specifically to you, because only one of us fell out of love with the other party, and the one who didn't simply has to accept it, right? Plus, the one who fell out of love couldn't just say so. He had to lie. He had to cheat. He doesn't understand that the one who still has feelings is now suffering from the pain. That completely went over your head, didn't it? There, figure it out. You know what I've liked about you since we were kids? Whenever you cried, you could always shut your mouth as long as there's food. Seriously, you eat some disgusting thing and your mood suddenly skyrockets. I do that? You do. No, Sergei. I want a brand new start to my life. Hmm. Sounds a bit comical with a mouth stuffed with food, but I support that decision. I want to forget all about the past. <laughs> Maybe then you'll remember what you were like. Good idea. Was I like a young idiot? What are you now? An old idiot? <laughs> You're such a jerk. <laughs> there, finally, I got a smile. I... I still want to kill Dennis. I swear I'll do it. You don't know how to shoot. I can, but... Shooting range. I'm a quick learner. <sighs> hey, you! Hold on! Don't do that! Don't tell me you expect me to clean up after you! <gasps> what is this? Don't worry about it. They're supposed to be soft to the touch. Why do they have to be soft? Everything is wrapped here, everything. I have epidermolysis, butterfly syndrome. I'm sorry, I didn't have any idea. It's an extremely rare genetic illness. Basically, my skin is incredibly fragile on top of that. Yes, the skin bruises at the lightest touch. I know of this illness, I studied medicine. I just didn't know you had this condition. I'm very sorry. It's all right. If you ever need some kind of help, I am... No, thanks. I'm all right. I need a hospice. <laughs> but honestly, I just keep putting it off. I feel so ashamed. It's all right. But please don't be upset with the trash. I leave it out for social services. Some lovely woman comes by to help me, a volunteer. But he always managed to get there before her scheduled visits. 
Tell me, is there anything else I can do to help? I need nothing. It's the truth. But maybe you can swing by sometimes to chat. I'd really like that. You know, it's really terrifying dying all alone. Get out of my house. I've got enough issues as it is. Anna, please listen to me. I figured it's never too late to apologize, so I wanted to... I don't to... really want to hear it. I figure that your sorry won't give me my legs back. Thank you, Natasha. I know that it won't, but ma'am... Stop mamming me. I don't need your formalities. Okay, no mamming, but the point remains the same. I don't want to just apologize. I want to fix the mistakes I've made. Listen. What was your mistake, huh? You didn't know that Dennis, your knight in shining armor, was married, am I right? Yes, I only found out about it after he proposed to me. Mm-hmm. You mean even in the beginning, those first passionate days together, you never felt anything was off with him? As if he was acting unusual. Not even the tiniest feeling? Yes, I did. Let me guess what he did. He never invited you over. He kept renting rooms in hotels. He kept making plans to travel for a few days. You probably saw the entire country with him, am I right? Yes. And yet you could have asked our wonderful husband one simple question. What do you think it is? Go on. They told me you're a smart woman. What question was it, Vera? Are you seeing anyone else? No, not that. What was the question? Are you married? That's strike two. Well, what was the question? Okay, get out of here. Our ex-husband will be here soon. We've got to work. Vera! Vera, what are you doing here? Don't leave yet. I just want to talk to you. Vera. Let's be civilized people, Vera. What the hell? Well, Leave me alone. Are you crazy? Vieta! Vieta! <sighs> Sit. Quit pacing. Are you feeling uneasy because for once in your life you didn't leave? You got kicked out. The girl did pretty well by not waiting for too long. And you're a big idiot. I know, that's enough. No, what wasn't enough about her, huh? No, I mean if we look past our core disagreements about her or about you, she's a really great girl. Yes, she sure is. So why did you keep slipping then? Why did you mess up? She's got it all. Pretty, intelligent, well, maybe a bit spoiled, just a little bit, but... You know what? What wasn't enough in either of us? Please, Anna, I beg you, don't start. Just don't start. No, seriously, Dennis, you know, I never thought about this before, like ever, and now I'm inspired. I was also pretty and smart. I was even nice. I'm just built differently. What are you? Are you a tractor? <laughs> Did you at any point want to come back to me? I did. Well, then why didn't you? Because I already had Vieta. That makes sense. 
Honestly, I wanted to. I often would reminisce about our fun, naughty life, but I... already loved Yetta. She's so different, you know? TMI, but thanks anyway. You wanted to know, right? Never discuss or compare your women while in the presence of another. Just don't do it. Breathing down my neck doesn't mean I would get to read this faster. Let's see, it's a good machine. It would be better if I saw the patient. Um, patient, female, about 33 years old. She's smart, she's pretty. That has something to do with her spine. Mm, no, sorry. She was hit by a car four and a half years ago. How long? Five years ago. <laughs> That's impossible, Viera. But, Dad... I see. I'm still glad. This shows me you finally stopped thinking about yourself. Dad, here's the situation. I accidentally noticed that her feet are not completely devoid of feeling. So if she were to work on Working it... Working is always good, but she needs testing. Miss Tatiana, I'd like you to meet my daughter, Viera. It's a pleasure. Hello there, Viera. Listen, Tatiana here possesses a secret massage technique. So you can bring a friend here. Maybe we can help. <laughs> Michael is just joking. I don't have any secrets. What? Don't tell me you already gave it away. You know, it's unlikely that I'll be able to bring my friend over here, but I would love to learn from you. Would you allow that? Of course. You can observe my sessions anytime you're free. No problem. Return all of this to the shop, got that? Mm, but I... I said I want you to return everything. And you, young man, set that thing down. <clears throat> Why are you still holding on to it? It's okay, I'll hold it. In case I'll actually need to carry it back. I think I need to conserve my energy. Set it down, will you? You earned yourself some tea with that joke. Oh. Listen here, Vera. Let's get this all cleared up right now. For some reason, you decided that you could waltz into my life. I never asked you to. And so now we've met, period. You and I will never be close to being friends, and I do not require your help. Plus, if you think that this is the first trainer I've had in my life and that it would be of any help, then sorry, but you're mistaken. That room is filled with those machines. No, um... Uh, I think there's likely enough space there for one more, so about that... Sorry, but today I'm done. I'm not carrying this. I'm tired, and besides, there's no elevator. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but I like your attitude. Mm. You're definitely getting a cup of tea. <laughs> Sergey. Ah, the preschool friend. I heard about you. Dennis, my ex-husband, told me that his latest wife has an amazing childhood friend who's always there whenever she needs any help. You're the preschool friend. The preschool friend, right. How much time did you spend talking about me? That Denise tells his ex about me, too. Yep, fun times. I don't see anything funny about it. Oh, how come you didn't tell me that your husband was a horribly beautiful ex? Did you even notice? This horribly beautiful ex is disabled. Yeah, it hasn't affected her face in any way. And look at her hands. When she moves them around, I think of pianists. Oh, stop it already. I think of pianists. Listen, how does she come down without an elevator? Getting to the fourth floor, after all, is no laughing matter. I don't freaking know if she does it. I'm thinking she doesn't... ever... Viera? Viera, what is it? I know the right... <sighs> what? The right question. You asked me what question I was supposed to ask Denise when we started dating. I figured it out. The question is... Will anyone suffer if we keep seeing each other? Well... Well, this all seems right. And this one goes here. I think it's fine. That's what it says. Anyway, we can return the extra parts. <laughs> Let's see. And it seems to be correct. Oh, hello, Dennis. Come in. 
Is this not a good time? What a bitch. She's a bloody stop, traitor. Stop, stop. That's no way for a lady to speak. But she set this up intentionally for us to bump into each other. Sure. Yeah, I agree. It was a bad joke. But if you really want to help that woman, then you have to get used to the fact that Denise will show up at her place once not in a, a while. Not a chance. It's him or me. Oh, come on now. That's not how it works. Will you grow up? Do you want to merely atone for your sins or do you actually want to help this no, person? I don't know. Now I don't want to do anything. Right, you didn't last very long. What, you walked up to the pool, dipped your toe in, and ew, it's cold, that's it? Listen, the strain must increase slowly. I understood you the first time, let alone the 15th time. You okay? Is anything uncomfortable? No, just you. Listen, we agreed to do you this. You and I didn't agree on anything at all. Except maybe me not poisoning you. By the way, I'm the one who should be mad at you. Really now? Why would you say that? You didn't warn me that Denise was coming to your place. Huh? Oh, well, I'm so sorry. You stole my husband from me, and now I gotta warn you when he comes over here for work? Damn it. Are you trying to kill me here? I guess it's okay, because at least you know how I feel. But you agreed to do this program yourself. I didn't. You forced your way in. And don't even think of negotiating the conditions now. <laughs> Give me your hand. Why, are you going to read my palm? I remember I often imagined you. I wondered what kind of woman my husband traded me for. I thought of what you might look like. I would imagine your body, your breasts, neck. I thought, what makes her so special? What does she have that I don't? Well, my hands are prettier. That's for sure. I had gotten such a weird feeling, Xena. I look at this woman and I know that she's a hundred times stronger than me. She managed to survive. When he left her and I just simply fell apart. No, but she managed. Well... Not exactly. And then she got an injury. Yet she survived again. I would have ended it all, to be honest. And right now she has a hundred points against me, but she can continue being friends with that disgusting man. I can't even say hello to him. And it's a very strange feeling to have. You shouldn't compare yourself. You're two or different. I know, but it's unavoidable. Besides, she does the same thing. <laughs> yes. It seems there's a strange connection between you two. You're tied to him and to each other. Do you both need it? Are you both feeling guilty but refusing to acknowledge it? I don't know. I guess I'm doing this because I need someone to need me now. No, I don't think so, but I think you knew there was a chance you'd bump into your ex-husband on occasion when you're here. Or hold on, was that the plan all along? What if he comes back, Zina? I'll help Anna. It's the right thing to do if he comes back. <coughs> Zina, how can I help you? No, thanks. It's okay. It's okay. I'm all right. <coughs> this is nothing. I just need to get a bit of a rest. Vera, you know what? Please. Grab the keys in the drawer for me. They're in the hallway, just in case. You can come around anytime.
You know, he never had any friends. Is that right? Yeah, he had no one. Well, maybe just a few friends. Two from childhood and one from the army. The rest were my friends, like Sergei, for example. Actually, I think you're right. Dennis only has business partners. Didn't you wonder why? I don't know. I never thought much about it. But yeah, you're right. You know? I was his friend. Before you. Before you appeared here. He doesn't trust me anymore. That means he's dumb. Who else can he trust if not you? Doesn't trust me? What, does he have a monopoly on you? Geez, that man really should get over himself. Guess I'm starting to like you now. It's okay, it's not him. Hello? Are you getting a tan or something? Oh, damn! <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> you forgot about what? Um, we've got big plans today, yeah? Guess how long it's been since I went outside. Tell me. Year. A whole year. No way. Before my brother would come and take me out. And where is he now? He's working. Oh, I see. Listen, would you mind reading me some poetry? Well... Where are you going? Are you leaving? Vieta, please. Open up. My angel. My Vieta.
Ghost for Two, Part Two. Hello. Come here. <clears throat> like that. Go ahead, I'll catch up with you. Dog, let's go. Everything okay? Yes. Viera. Hello. Hello, yes. Who am I speaking with? Hey, honey, there's some Vera on the phone looking for you. Damn it. You all right? Yes, I'm fine. Then why do you look so pale? Must be a reaction to the bad weather. Dad, I brought a friend. Calm down. I'm sorry, Fiera. Well, I hope there'll be no interrogation. There will be. You gotta explain. How long has it been going on? Irrelevant. What's between Tatiana and I is not as it seems. Then how? How is it? With her? Tatiana and I love each other. But Dad, what about Mom? <sighs> I said there will be no surgery. But why not? Don't you want to walk again? Vera, back off. She'll get used to I'm it. I'm not getting used to anything. Anya! <laughs> What's going on? Come here. This is my brother. You don't understand. No, you're the one who doesn't understand. I'm gonna have to disagree. You listen here. It's easy to disagree when you have no responsibility. Who said I don't have any responsibility? I'm family. Yes. So I see everyone's been introduced. Evgena, Vera, Vera, Evgena. Shall I put the kettle on? Yes, that'd be great. I think the kettle's like an olive branch. I'm curious, nevertheless, if you're really her brother. What do you mean if I'm the brother? Where have you been this whole time? Could you tell me? I'm sorry, what? Could you both shut up now? You left your sister in her condition. You basically abandoned her. You think this is acceptable? Actually, I had to work. Where? How much money could you be making? In order to forget you have a family member in a wheelchair. I don't understand. Uh... So nothing to disagree on now? Anya will never criticize you. She won't say a word. I know how heavy your burden is, and Sergei too. Look, forgive me, please, but why I'm don't you- I'm not the one you should be saying sorry to. Apologize to her. Jeez, calm down, okay? And why should I? Let's just clear something up right this moment before I lose my mind because someone here definitely walked through the wrong door. I am this girl's brother, and this is our flat. I work and work often overseas. I am providing comfort and safety for my sister as much as I possibly can and as much as she allows me to do so. Is that enough of an explanation for you? Anya, can you please tell me who this is? Actually, that's Dennis's wife. Well, ex-wife now. Would you please calm down? What kind of job is it that allows you to leave a handicapped person alone? He's a diplomat. So what? Come on! Oh crap. Sergey, please help move the table. Well, I'm off. Where do you want this? Could you be careful? Yes, ma'am. I'll be careful, ma'am. A little towards me. Right. Let's go. Right here. That's good. What else can we do? What do you have in mind? How about this? 
I need a cloth to wipe the table. So it's you, huh? You are Dennis's wife. Ex-wife? Just don't start with the whole, it's my fault. Just stop, stop. If diplomats use such polemic languages in negotiations, then one half of humankind would have killed the other by now. Yeah? Trust me. Take the kettle and the cookies. <sighs> anyway, that was really awkward, but it's all right. Most important thing is to finish with Anya. You say it like it's some kind of military operation. Operation Anna. Well, in some sense, it is. Just now I'll need to convince them both, brother and sister. And how is the brother? He's a real fancy, spoiled superstar brat, a diplomat. Oh, you're really funny. It must be nice. Nice. Except my husband left me. Left you for good? He fell in love, but... Honestly speaking, I think he's not capable of love. Oh, stop it, please. He loves the only way he can. You might not like it, and it might not appear as you want it to appear, but that's him. Fiera, would you take something to remember me by? I will, next time. There might not be a next time. There will be. Definitely will be. You know something? You're looking like mom more and more these days. And so do you. I really miss her myself. Hey, what did that girl say about the surgery? <laughs> what girl is that? Come on, what are you playing dumb for? <laughs> no, you're playing dumb. You've been like that since we were kids. Do you want me to refresh your memory? When you liked some girl, you'd always start from afar. So who was that with you? You know, in the white sweater. Anya, even if the surgery gives you the slightest chance... You can ask her when she arrives. She comes here to torture me on the trainer daily. But is it helping you? I do feel a bit better. You see now? But I'm not doing the surgery. I can't walk either way. So then what do you have to lose? I gave Vera the keys. <sighs> Are you crazy? What if I was naked? <laughs> Hello. Oh, oh, Mr. Diplomat. Hello there. Hello. Well, don't just stand there. Help me with this. Mm -hmm. hey. You tired? A little. Denise. <sighs> Exhaustion is very good, by the way. It's a good sign that it's not complete muscle atrophy. How else can we know if that's the case? Only through exhaustion. Mm -hmm. Okay, ladies. I'm gonna have to go now. No, you don't need to go. You're not gonna get bored here with two girls. <laughs> How about this? Maybe the two of you can go out somewhere together. Well, I think Vera doesn't really want that. Evgena, fasten your seatbelt. Where are we going? You know, Vera, I suspect that you and I are not going to have any road trips anytime soon. Oh, goodness. I'm not planning to. By the corner. I'll jump out there so Anya doesn't see you out the window. Is that okay? Did I do or say something to offend you? No, no. 
I just need to go to the cemetery and visit my parents' graves. And I didn't want to make Anya sad. Let her think that you and I are having a blast together, whatever. Honestly, no offense. Well, first of all, buckle up. And secondly, I'll drive you to the cemetery. Spend as much time there as you want. But what are you... And I will wait for you in a cafe. You sure of that? Yeah. Denise. Denise. And then I guess we will see. The data is inaccurate. I looked over the reports earlier, and if these trends remain as is, okay, then... Okay, then. Are you happy now? Are you crazy? You know, I think that you always needed a bit of healthy crazy in you. Your face looks contented. And your voice is confident. Just go to hell. What could I be content with? <laughs> Look, I know that you like to hold all the cards. But Vieta is mine. She was. Just like me. That sounds crazy, but at times I get the feeling that you got close to her on purpose. I didn't even want to let her through the door. Well, then you shouldn't have. <laughs> well, you're an idiot. Will you be honest? Were you always this jealous of everything new in my life after you left me? Can't remember. Possibly. Well, then do you want me to tell you when you stopped? The first time I got in this chair. Because that's when you realize you will never lose me again. Thank you, Vera. For what? For Anna. Of Jenna. If you genuinely want to help her, convince her to do the surgery. What are her chances? She has a huge chance. Her brain, her spine, body, everything's reacting to therapy. But it's not enough. Okay, fine. I'll go and speak to her. <sighs> Let's be more casual. It's not like we're strangers anymore. with my wife. Okay, first of all, good evening. Are you insane? How am I your wife? You gonna be okay? And you're no better either. You see, he's not in his right mind. Yeah, I can see that now. I wanted to ask you about your interesting job. <laughs> dear Jenna, no, not dear, Mr. of Jenna. Oh my goodness, seriously, Vera. Uh, Jenna, hi, it's Vieira. Listen, maybe we can go out somewhere for coffee? Yes? All right. Bye. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm not really the best company right now.
It's all right. I just want to get to know your better side. You'll need to wait then. That's fine with me. You want to know what a diplomat's main task is? Maybe. Just a little. Make a suggestion. They respond. All right, we'll discuss it and let you know. They discuss and then we wait. A few months later, they call and say we discussed it and we have suggestions of our own. We reply, all right, send them right over. We'll discuss them and let you know. They wait, we discuss. Then we all meet up and discuss what everyone discussed and discovered. <laughs> Hey, that's not funny. That actually is a very important government job. Oh my goodness. You scared me. You still have a key? I made a copy. I missed you, Viera. A lot. You're such a jerk. Oh goodness, I miss you so much. What have we done? I think everything is good. Let's have coffee in round two. You know what? Anya taught me a good question. Do you think anyone will suffer because we are together? That's behind us now. Now come on, baby. No, thanks. I won't be able to sleep. Then don't. I won't allow you to anyway. Mm. So what's next? <laughs> Viera, I'm engaged. All right. It's not my decision. If it were up to me, I'd say no. But I need to respect the girl's wishes. And of she course. trusted me. Look, she's she's young, inexperienced. And if I lie to her now, maybe she'll... You're leaving. Vieta, Vieta, no. I promise you, I will. Now you're... leaving for good. Vera, this is childish. We're all adults here. I'm not leaving. Yes, all. Except your princess who was so young and pure. No one can say a word to her. Get out. I'm not leaving. I'm not going anywhere. I'm about to scream and the neighbors will call the care. police. Please, don't turn away. I wanted to tell you the truth. You know, this is what I want to tell you, my dear. Evgena is not just my brother. He is my only, only person I have. And you? You're just, you're simply a random stranger. On whose side am I supposed to be on, do you think? If Jenna and I are not together, I didn't agree to anything. Denise is my husband. Ex-husband. Don't you think that maybe he's changed? <laughs> Judging by this, he didn't. And what's with that grin? Doesn't matter. Spit it out. He came to me too. After the divorce. Yes, you mentioned for work. Not for work, you idiot. Not for work. He came to me the same way he did to you. And he will continue doing that. 
And you will think, oh, he's finally coming back to me. And then it will hurt really bad. And then he will get married to his new girl. And then it will hurt even more. But you will accept it because you love him. And then you'll just be empty. You had sex? Of course, before I became this way. Crap, sorry, I wasn't supposed to tell you all this. He's a completely selfish man, Vera, and a talented manipulator. Is this the part where I need to feel sorry for you, have pity yes, on you? Yes, and why not? Because he cheated on me with you. Same thing here. So we're even. All right, enough. Let's have some tea or train. You know, I don't feel like it. Vera, wait, don't leave like this. I know I'm at fault, you are too. How many more times must I apologize? And how much longer do I have to keep trying, Anya? How long? Tell me. Viera. For you. Zena asked me to take it. Vera, hello. Jenna, I wanted... Hey, listen, I'm sorry. I need to work now. Excuse me. Hello there. May I? Sure. Thank you. Jenna, where's your car? Can I give you a lift? Hey, Viera, I'm talking to you. Wait! May I help you? Uh, I don't know, I'm still... deciding. Seems like you're a pro at escaping stalkers. Can I have some of those crackers, please? You Two. shouldn't push a man away if he wants to make peace. And some croutons. Mm-hmm. We're adults here. Can we just And talk? sugar puffs. Thank you. So when can I come over? And nougat. Mm hmm I'm not going to touch you. Do you have any donuts in stock? Oh, I do like donuts. I'm sorry. I don't care what you like. Is that so? That'll be $17.24. Thank you. Come again. Fiera. <laughs> Did you go and rob a bakery? Anya. <laughs> I went to Evgena's work, wanted to explain everything. He didn't even listen. Oh. <laughs> what do I do with all of this now? <laughs> Should I just toss it out? It's such a waste. No, don't. Five second rule, we can still eat it. Listen, Anya. On the way back, I bumped into Dennis. It's fate. Not my fate. That's strange, yeah. I wanted to bump into him in the street so many times. I thought I'd see him with you. And then? I don't know. Stand next to you. Let him look at us. And he can compare us. He couldn't possibly ignore how I am. I'm pretty and smart. But it never happened. You see, he wanted it and it didn't happen. And I see him almost everywhere I go. Mm, I told you, it's fate. 
You are the spitting image of hardship. <laughs> and Evgena, he needs... What does he need? It's just that everyone needs to understand that everything in life has a price. Listen, um... Nothing happened between Evgena and me. But it could have. I could... Feel it. Then Denise came round and ruined it. He has this gift, destroying everything that he touches. Hey. <gasps> it will all work out. I don't know how, but I know it will. The weight will lift. And hope will stay. Always warm, like the color of the sea. I miss running, but I just want to stand. Let's make it happen. Right. <laughs> I love you, Anya. Are you going to ask me to do the surgery? Yes. Do it for both of us. Why are you here? Vera's on her way. Fine, that's good. That's great to hear. That's really fun, but please leave now. I will not. You actually work for me. Dennis, pull yourself together. You'll only be embarrassed by what you might end up saying. No, he won't. And if he is, he'll get over it, like he always does. Vera, I didn't call him. I know. And I think it's great that the three of us are all here now to talk about this. I am tired of proving to you that I want to help. Trying to avoid you. But I admit I still have feelings for you. You see, I'm trying my best to go on with my life, to trust someone else again. Vienna, I'm not a monster. <laughs> I'm so attracted to you. Call it as you wish, love, habit, but I cannot live without you. Yeah? Really, Dennis? And that's why you came here to tell me this in front of this woman? <laughs> yeah, you're definitely not a monster. And what do we do from here? Nothing, Anya. Pretend that he's not here. A ghost. And ghosts disappear at dawn. It's not scary. I'm no longer scared. What are you doing here? This is my support group, your flowers, and if you want me to sing, you have to speak to me first. And she can't sing at all, worse than I play. If you don't take the flowers, I'll start eating them. Then everyone will think you are surrounded by crazies. Maybe because I am. For now, only you know that once I start chewing on them, then everyone will know. <laughs> go out on a date with me. Well, not exactly, but please go out with me. And I'm guessing if I refuse that, you're going to take back the flowers. <laughs> you forgot. I'll start singing. Hmm? 
Yes, Dad? Dad, I'm coming. herself. Daughter, listen to me. I asked her for a divorce years ago. There was no Tatiana back then. Your mom said, we have a family, a child. And then your mom got a lover. But your mom said that we are mainly partners. We were friends. Dad, oh dad. Daddy. I'm so sorry for you, dad. I don't know. He popped in, got changed, and maybe he's with some girl. What girl is that? With what girl? There's no girl. If there was, I would... I would have surely felt it. Right, and now we breathe and relax. Maybe even shed a tear or two. I don't know, but definitely breathe. You're basically on fire. <sighs> Anya, please tell him this. Please, that was not my fault. I was on my way to him, but my mother almost cut herself. I had to be with my dad in the hospital. Anya, please explain to him. Dad, call me. I then completely forgot everything in the world. Anya. <laughs> Anya, I'm begging you. Damn it. Just one sec. Here. What? Uh-huh. Got it. Wait! Straight left and then another left. Uh-huh. Listen, I need to say something. No, no, no. Nothing horrible. I just need to go away right now. I just wanted to ask... Uh, um, Annie... Anya... There's a few more variations left, I think. You mean you and Sergei could look out for my sister? Of course. Thank you. <sighs> Mom. Mom, if you have something to tell me, I am more than willing to listen to you. I can't lose you. You don't understand. I just... Just what? What? Viera, the suitcase he packed that day is still standing by the door. I'm very... Viera, Viera, I'm so scared. Mom, no. Don't be scared. You know, try... Try to start life over. Remember your real self. 
I love you. Let that go. Let him go. Thanks. Anya, can you hear me? Water. What? I am very thirsty. Water? Mm -hmm. Right, sure. Water! Drink! Someone! Get us water! She's awake! Water! Step aside, right now. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you see me? Yes. I'll tell you now, your nightmare's only begun. The first thing is you'll feel pain. Don't be scared. It can be unbearable. Understood? Uh, ticklish. Ticklish? It tickles. Uh, Uncle Miguel, I didn't do anything. Take note. Ten hours after surgery, the patient has regained feeling in her legs. So I see this is how we spend lonely evenings. Whoa, scary. You know, I don't know how to scare you enough to make you go away. Just tell it to me straight and I'll never come back. I think I've already done that, clearly and repeatedly, haven't I? Well, just don't take me for a complete fool. Why'd you say fool? I think you're smart. Like any other half-decent manipulator. You used to like that about me. Yes. I even loved you, remember? Except for the fact I didn't know you. I didn't know myself, too. Now it's time for you to get up and leave and never return. You're going to marry your princess and you will never appear in my life ever again. But before you leave, I would just like to, to ask you this question. What was wrong with me, Denise? You were fine. Viera, I will tell you something that I've never told anyone in my life. I'm a prisoner to myself. Sentenced to my fears, my weaknesses, 
as well as my actions. Like any other man, you understand? Perhaps that's why, after divorcing Anna, being with you, I suddenly felt at ease. I lost the need to constantly prove anything to anyone. But we all loved you the way you were. Not one man is ready to believe that. It's not enough. Yes, we think that we constantly need to prove our worth in everything that we do, every second of every day, every time, you understand? I feel sorry for you. I really do. You will never see me again. The keys. I've exorcised the ghost. New ones? Yes. Oh, it all looks normal. I said it's all fine. Anya? Anya! Sergey, hey, what happened? Where's, where's my sister? Right here. She's fine. Come over. <sighs> Take out another mug, okay? Don't worry, he won't be here for a while still. But we already have mugs here. A cup and a saucer. <laughs> Do we have a visitor? Uh-huh. 